So you wanna use AI to help you with your coding. I'm gonna talk about three different ways that you can do that. I'm gonna do a deep dive on one of them in this tutorial, I'll do others soon. My name is Greg Martin, let's jump into this boom shakalaka. On this YouTube channel, we're creating our programming videos on everything. Is the fact that language models can write code for you an excuse not to learn how to code? And of course the answer is no. The more code you know and understand, the better you'll be able to engage with and work with these language models. So the three ways that you can get AI to help you with your code are, number one, you can go to a web page like Claude or ChatGPT, ask it to write some code, cut and paste the code into RStudio, run it, boom shakalaka, there you go. The second is there's Copilot in, in RStudio and that connects with GitHub and it'll auto complete code for you. It's reasonably good. I don't like it. I'm gonna talk about that in another video. And then the final way, which I'm gonna talk about in this video, is you can install packages like Chat R, and it'll actually open up a little chat window that you can see on the screen below me right now. And you can ask questions and ask it to write code, et cetera, et cetera, and cut and paste that into your console and run it. And it's reasonably good. We're gonna talk about that today, but I'm also gonna talk about sort of best practices and how you should engage with these language models to get the most out of them. Let's jump right into the chat R package. I'm gonna show you how it works, show you how to install it, everything you need to know. Let's do this, boom shakalaka. Let's look at an example of using chat R, right? So we've got this little prompt box at the bottom here, um, and I'm gonna talk you through exactly how to get all of this in place so nobody panic and here you can just type in a question now it doesn't have to be asking for a question where it generates code you can actually just ask it any kind of question the same way that you would uh, typing into a prompt at chat gpt on a web pack so i could type in please tell me what data set would be best for illustrating the use of ggplot and i'll push submit and it gives a little answer mpg data set uh, from ggplot package is commonly used blah 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 so that's nice the nice thing about having a chat box like that is you can ask it about errors you can cut and paste problems into that chat box ask it anything you want uh, maybe even ask it about the best approach that you might want to use to analyze a particular kind of data and of course you can ask it to write you some code so let's do that Okay, we've got uh, write some code using the MPG data to show us how to use ggplot and I'll push submit. And now of course we can just go, we can cut and paste that code and stick it into our studio. Boom shakalaka, we've got some code. I'm not gonna run it, you can see where this is going. All right, so the first few steps are pretty straightforward and self-explanatory. We want to install packages chat R, so that's C-H-A-T-T-R, you install the package, library chat R, boom shakalaka, it's now on your computer. At that point, you still don't have access to the little chat box that I showed a few minutes ago. You still need to connect the app to ChatGPT or one of the other language models that you, you might wanna use using something called an API. And you have to get an API key. And that you do at the, in the case of ChatGPT, you, you go to the OpenAI webpage, and I've got the steps are here, you create an account if you haven't already got one, you have to set up a payment method. And the reason you have to do that is because it charges you a small amount for how much it is you use uh, the app inside uh, RStudio. It actually charges you very, very little. So it's not like a huge expense, it's actually, it doesn't charge you much, but there is a cost associated with using it, so keep that in mind. Um, and then you create an API key. Now, let me talk you through how to do those three steps. I've created a cheat sheet as to how to do all of this. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna provide a link that'll take you to a place where you can get the cheat sheets, all of the cheat sheets that I create absolutely for free. Uh, that's at learnmore365.com, but you know, there'll be a link at the end of the video. And on this, I've got the links to OpenAI, the billing section where you set up the, you know, the setting up how much you, you prepare to pay. And again, it doesn't cost you much. And then how to generate your API key. When you go to these web pages, it's pretty self-explanatory. You just click on the button that says create create uh, API and you cut and paste that. I'm not gonna click on the link because I don't wanna show you my API key necessarily. So you can understand that, but this is how you do it. I'll provide all of these uh, in this page that you can access for free and you can click on the links. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Oh, and by the way, the page that you're looking at right now, which has got a lot of details about how to set up chat R, et cetera, et cetera, it's, it's called a complete guide. This entire page, everything about this was created with code that Claude wrote for me. And, and I didn't change the code at all. I literally cut and pasted straight into R Studio. I pushed render, boom shakalaka, this is what I got. So this is an example of how you can use uh, AI to generate code that produces real outputs. It's 
which is really quite remarkable. Now to connect chat R to your API key, it's reasonably easy, but these are steps you have to take. You may or may not already have the use this package installed on your computer. Most people have, if you haven't just install packages, use this, then library, use this, you've got it. That will give you this function here, edit R environ. And if you run that line of code, it will open up this page here for you. You type in this function over here, open AI underscore API underscore key equals, and no blanks or spaces just as it is at the moment and then paste the key that you got from OpenAI into the section over here and push enter. At that point you really want to just save and close RStudio down and open it up again. Once you've done that you can check that it's worked right by typing in sys uh, get env open brackets um, open AI underscore API underscore key and it will I won't do it for you because I don't want my API key to be on the screen but it will then give you the API key and if that if it does that you know that it's all worked at that point everything is connected you can use the chat R app function or you can go into the add-ins here and under chat R click on open chat and when you click on that it'll open up the little chat box um, it actually first of all in your uh, may ask you which model you want to use because we've connected this to ChatGPT. There's more than one model um, and it asks you which of the models you want to use. You select one and in, in my case I've already selected it but otherwise you select one and it'll then open up the chat box and you can go for it. Now I'm also making other videos about how to use the GitHub Copilot which is kind of good. It does sort of auto completion of code actually inside the console which is sort of fun but I, I don't particularly like it but I'll show you how to use that anyway. And then my favorite is actually just to use the uh, use the actual web pages and there's a best practice around that. I'm going to make a video all about that. I hope this was useful. On the screen at the moment there'll be a link. You can click on that link and that'll take you uh, to Learn More 365 and that'll let you create a free account and that free account lets you go to a, a dashboard where you can get all of the free cheat sheets including the one about how to set up chat R. So I hope you found it useful. Don't ever change, don't do drugs, always do your best. Boom shakalaka, see you soon.